absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is, how do we do that? You know, um, um, and I and I think the way we do that, and for me, the problem isn't so much as economics as economics profession. And the economics profession is pretty closed. It's it's pretty closed to alternative ideas. So I don't think you, you could hold economists accountable. You can't charge Ken Rogoff for the costs of his advice, which were immense. Um, but you, you could um, you could you could allow more alternative views. You could allow alternative views come forward to those of Ken Rogoff's. But the economics profession is such a closed shop. And I, I speak, I'm not an academic econom economist, thank goodness, um, but I have friends who are academics and who struggle to get their papers published, who struggle to get their voices heard, and then who struggle to get platforms or to, you know, to, to get articles in, in newspapers. Um, and that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is, um, is a form of discrimination, which is deeply harmful to the profession. You know, let let idea let a thousand flowers bloom. Let people speak, and 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 let's avoid censorship. But I think within the profession, we get censorship, and we get the elevation of those who've made mistakes. Don't are not isolated for that. Are not denigrated for that, or are not downgraded, or what is the word? Um, you know, when you lose your position in the department, and. Um, they tend to be rewarded for their errors, you know. So, yeah. and I and I think that that means economics is not being held fully accountable. And, and I I want to concede that there is a fair amount of heterodox thinking going on, and there are departments and there are places, and we all go looking for these places where alternative ideas can be debated and discussed and so on. But the majority, and unfortunately, the most important places. Uh, uh, powerful uh, institutions, and I think here of the economics department in Cambridge, are amongst the most closed, basically. Um, so um, I think that's how we hold economists transparent, is by exposing them and exposing the sector and opening up the sector to more alternative ideas. And I feel particularly bitter about Cambridge. I made a speech at Cambridge about Keynes, where Keynes is treated as as a kind of novelist of, of the <laughs> economics of the early 20th century and not taken seriously at all. And when I, I spoke at one of the anniversaries, I think of the, uh, of the general theory, you know, it, it, I got a very hostile reception, not just from economists, but also from their students, who of course all been indoctrinated in an anti-Keynesian point of view. So. 